Bismillahirrahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Uh, in previous lecture uh, we have discussed about nervous system. Now today we are going to start another system of the human being that is called excretory system. Uh, this is unit number one and lecture number five. So now let us start. First of all excretion, that what is excretion? You know that a lot of reactions uh, that take place in our body, these reactions are called metabolic reactions. During these metabolic reactions, a lot of waste are produced and these waste are called metabolic waste like urea, uric acid, carbon dioxide, even excess of heat, salts, excess of salts. So, these are called metabolic waste. These metabolic waste come from the metabolism of protein, uh, carbohydrates or fats. So, how we will define excretion? The removal of the metabolic waste from the body, this process is called excretion. Now, for excretion, there are systems in our body like lungs, they are used for the excretion of carbon dioxide. Skin, this is used for the excretion of uh, excess of heat, sometimes salts. But here in this chapter, we will discuss an excretory system that is called urinary system. So, uh, let us first discuss the different parts of the urinary system. Urinary system consists of these parts, a pair of kidney, a pair of ureters, uh, sorry there is spelling mistake, urinary bladder and urethra. So, kidney, this is the main organ of the urinary system. So, first of all, we will discuss the uh, external structure of the kidney. Uh, kidney, you can see here in this diagram, the position. Kidney is present in the upper abdominal cavity. So, this is upper abdominal cavity, not on uh, front side, on the dorsal side, on back side, in the abdominal cavity upper abdominal cavity. So, this is the position of the kidney and the number these are 2 in number as you can see here in this diagram. Color that is a reddish brown color like uh, the color of the bean and shape is also the same is like the bean shape. Size the average size of a kidney that is uh, its length that is uh, 12 centimeter is wet that is uh, 6 centimeter and its thickness that is 3 centimeter. Uh, blood supply, if uh, you can see in the diagram here, so the blood uh, vessels uh, that is a renal artery and a renal vein, it enter or come out through a region and that region is called hilus. Now, to protection uh, to the kidney, there are a membrane around uh, the kidney. So, that is called peritoneum membrane and that provide protection to the kidney. Extra protection is also provided by uh, some of the lower uh, ribs and fats are also surrounded uh, around the kidney. So, they help in the protection of the kidney against injuries etcetera. Now, uh, internal structure, internal structure of kidney. If we take the longitudinal section of the kidney, longitudinal section mean if we cut through lengthwise, so that is called longi so, uh, longitudinal section. You can see here in this diagram, so this is the longitudinal section. So, we will see these parts that during the longitudinal section of the uh, human kidney. Renal cortex, this is the outer dark uh, reddish brown color portion is called uh, renal cortex. You can see here this portion, this portion is the outer portion that is called renal cortex or simply it is also called cortex. Renal medulla, the inner portion, this portion from here to here, this portion is uh, called renal medulla. It is thicker and uh, lighter in part. Uh, 
Renal pyramid, you can see here some pyramid like structure that may be 10 to 15 in number. These are the pyramids. Later on, we will discuss that what kind of things are present in these pyramids. Pelvis, uh, this is the slightly dilated portion of the uh, kidney internal structure of the kidney. You can see here, this is actually pelvis and ureter arise, the tube is arise from the, uh, that is called ureter. Now, what are a nephron? The structure and the function unit of the kidney, they are nephron. Actually, these are microscopic tubules, they are present inside the kidney, you can see here. So, this is the enlarged part of this side of the kidney and these are these microscopic tubules and these microscopic tubules uh, the number that may be 1 million in a single kidney and the structure and function unit of the kidney is nephron. Structure means that almost the whole structure of the kidney is composed of these nephron and the function of the kidney that is filtration of the blood that is also performed by the, these nephron. Now, let us discuss a structure of a single uh, nephron. This is uh, one of the nephron in this diagram you can see and we will discuss uh, each and every part of this nephron. There are 1 million, remember there are, are 1 million nephron in each kidney. So, there are two main parts of the nephron, renal carpuscle and renal tubule. Renal carpuscle, first of all we will discuss the renal carpuscle. Uh, it have further two part bomain cup or capsule and glomerulus. This cup shape part, cup shape this one, please uh, look at the diagram, the cursor. This cup shape part, this is called bomain cup or capsule. Inside this cup, there is a bunch or network of very fine capillaries and these are called glomerulus. Now, come toward this, these are the glomerulus, you can see here. Now, come toward the second part of the nephron and that is a renal tubule. Renal tubule is actually the tubular part of the nephron. So, you can see here in this diagram, this tubular part, from, let start from the, this end of the moment cup and coil then up to this part, this is called renal tubule. For the renal tubule, it is divided into three portion. The proximal convoluted tubule, the proximal convoluted tubule, look at the diagram, the first coil part, this coil part, this is called the proximal convoluted tubule. Then the middle portion, this portion, this is U shape, this U shape a portion is called Henle's lobe. Yeah or it is also called loop of Hen, Henle. The last part is also coiled, you can see here and this is called distal, distal convoluted tubule. So, this was the structure of a single nephron. Now, the ending of uh, uh, several nephron then open into a common duct. You can see here that common duct that is called collecting duct. So, the ending of each nephron open into a common duct and that is called collecting duct and this collecting duct then, uh, then enter or open into the pelvis region in uh, last uh, slide we have discussed the pelvis region, it open in the pelvis region. You can see here in this diagram, so this is the pelvis region okay? and these, this is the collecting duct and these are the nephron. So, it open in this pelvis region. Uh, now, come toward the function of the kidney or uh, you can say the role of the kidney. Uh, the function of the kidney they to filter the blood, to extract the waste material, the excess material from the blood. So, this is the function of the kidney. Now, let us see how the this function is performed. You can see here in this diagram to each kidney and renal artery enter. This is this red color show the renal artery. It the blood enter inside the kidney. That blood is filtered inside the kidney 
by these nephron. So that is their blood. So the blood enter into the glomerulus. In the glomerulus, there the blood is filtered through pressure filtration. So some of the waste they are come out from the uh, blood and that is collected inside this Bowman cup. Then the, now th this is called this is called Bowman filtrate. Now from Bowman filtrate, these waste then circulate inside the renal tubule. First of all the uh, proximal convoluted tubule, then the uh, this roof of Henle, then distal convoluted tubule. So these are the waste. But still in this way some useful substances may be present and that is reabsorbed by these blood capillaries that surround this con uh, renal, uh, uh, tubular part of the nephron. And finally, when it reached to the collecting duct last part, so there are waste in the form of solution and that is uh, called urine. And then it enter into the pelvis region, from the pelvis region that it enter into the ureter and from the ureter it then the it open to the uh, urinary bladder. Urinary bladder is a pouch like structure and uh, it store the urine. Urine is actually the water plus excess of the material salt waste etcetera. So urine is stored inside the urinary bladder and then it is expelled through a tube a smaller tube that is called urethra to outside. So this was the end of lecture number 5 of unit 1. Thank you.